Hey guys, it's Carrie. Today I'm looking at some amazing sea creatures. My favorite is the right whale. I'm going to look at that one first. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like whales, sharks and other sea creatures. There's a fun ending today. Right whale. Right whales are the rarest of all large whales. There are several species, but all are identified by enormous heads, which can measure up to one third of their total body length. These whales' massive heads and jaws have hundreds of baleen plates. Rights and other baleen feeding whales use a comb-like strainer of baleen plates and bristles to catch tiny morsels of food as they swim. It works much like a strainer. Right whales feed on zooplankton and other tiny organisms using baleens up to 8 feet long. The southern right whale and the two species of northern right whale live in temperate Atlantic or Pacific waters, often near the coast. Mako shark. This is an awesome shark. It is able to leap out of the water when hunting. It is the fastest shark and one of the fastest fish on the planet with top speeds of 45 miles or 74 kilometers per hour. They are able to keep their body temperatures at a higher level than the surrounding water. This is a major advantage when hunting in cold water. They eat bony fish, squids, sharks, small marine animals, sea turtles and even dead organic matter. Bull shark? Bull sharks are aggressive and live in the shallow warm waters of all the world's oceans. The good thing is they are able to live in seawater and fresh water. The bull shark, great white shark and tiger sharks are the three species most likely to attack humans. Bull sharks get their name from their short blunt snout as well as headbutting their prey before attacking it. They are a medium sized shark with thick stout bodies and long pectoral fins. They are grey on top and white below and the fins have dark tips. They are fast agile predators and eat fish, dolphins and other sharks. Goliath Groper is one of the largest members of the sea bass family. Its body is large and stocky, measuring half as wide as it is long. It grows to about two and a half metres. The head is broad with small eyes and the pectoral fins and tail fins are rounded. The first and soft dorsal fins are joined together along the back of the fish. Adult Goliath Gropers are a dull green, grey or dark yellow to brown with small dark spots on the head, body and fins. Smaller individuals less than one metre long are more decorative. Excalibursaurus was a medium to large size marine ichthyosaur from early Jurassic England. It gets its name from its long sword-like nose. It had an asymmetrical jaw and the upper snout or rostrum was much longer than the lower jaw, the mandible. It reminds me of the present day swordfish so it may have used its long snout to stir up or spear fish. Boxfish? What a beautiful colour! It reaches a maximum length of 45 centimetres or 18 inches. When it's younger, a juvenile, it is a bright yellow in colour. As it ages, the brightness fades and very old specimens will have a blue-grey coloration with faded yellow. It feeds mainly on algae, but will also feed on sponges, crustaceans and mollusks. When stressed or injured, it releases poisonous proteins from its skin that may prove lethal to any fish in the surrounding waters. Nudibranch? There are over 3,000 species of nudibranchs and most live in shallow tropical waters. 
They can be anywhere from a quarter of an inch to 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. They are carnivorous, so their prey includes sponges, coral, hydroids, barnacles, fish eggs, sea slugs, and even other nudibranchs. They get their bright colors from the food they eat. These colors may be used for camouflage or to warn predators of the poison that lies within. Great white shark is the largest predatory fish and is probably the most well-known and feared shark. Great white sharks have pale grey skin, white bellies, bullet shaped bodies and a crescent shaped tail and a pointed snout. I like the way you can make that mouth open and shut. Inside the jaws are up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The first two rows of teeth are used for grabbing and cutting prey. The teeth in the last rows can rotate forward when the front teeth are broken or lost. Here's Jaws. I really like this model because it can actually swallow something whole. When the great white attacks, it bites its prey and shakes its head back and forth. The serrated teeth act as a saw and literally tear the victim apart. Let's feed it something and see what happens. In it goes. <laughs> okay, you can give it back now. The great white's body colour helps camouflage it. They have a white underbelly and a darker top. This gives them some camouflage from prey when they can blend in with the dark ocean floor when viewed from above and with the bright surface when viewed from below. Another great white shark. Great white sharks don't have eyelids but they can roll their eyeballs during attack to prevent eye injury. This is especially important when they hunt sea lions which have sharp claws. In the last moment of the attack, sharks are practically blind. Other than that, they have excellent eyesight. Great whites don't produce sounds. They communicate using body language and sense. Here's another great white shark. Great white sharks have three major fins. The dorsal fin, the one on top that you can see moving through the water, like in the movie Jaws. And there are two pectoral fins, one on each side of the shark and a caudal fin, which is the fin on the tail of the shark. They are found in the coastal waters of Australia, South Africa, California, and the Northeastern United States. And here's the twin. The great white is at the top of the food chain and has few threats in the ocean. Only orcas and larger great whites can pose a risk. Their diet consists of small toothed whales, sea lions, seals, sea turtles and carrion, which is dead animals. Sharks will tear off big chunks of meat and can swallow them whole. Great whites attack by propelling themselves at their prey with great speed. They are good hunters because they have an excellent sense of smell, hearing and sight. They have electroreceptors which detect electric fields in the water to help locate prey. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay and watch another video with me. See you guys in my next video.